Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the New Moon in Cancer reading um, beginning July 5th and 6th, 2024 and extends for two weeks until the full moon. Um, the direction that your reading is going in is uh, number three cycle and increase and new moons um, begin new cycles or initiate new cycles but this card came in reversed so it's not that you will have decrease uh, that's not the indication of this card it does indicate however that you may forego something in order to save up for something else let's say you're going to let go of a very expensive vacation in order to save money for uh, your children's school or for uh, a bigger vacation later or for a new car or you know another expenditure or something like that um, <clears throat> so it's kind of a time to uh, a time of circums uh, circumspection um, it's to gather your inner and outer resources in preparation for um, potential limitations so like I said maybe you're saving money because you know that the economy is going to shit or something like that and so you want to save up what you can or um, that sort of thing you know it's um, for an example uh, but uh, the idea here is not to lose sight of um, of the power you maintain through every cycle your your conscious response will keep the the road right the road um, on both sides fulfilled so in other words it just it takes a little moment for you to save something or to forego something so that in the future you have what you need um, all right so just for going something for now let's see how that is that's the direction that the reading is going in let's see how uh, that is in regards to the tarot reading the first column is where you find yourself at the time of the new moon or if you are consciously beginning something new the second column is um, The second column is you, how you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing. And the third column is probable outcome. Probable because um, some things we can change, forewarned is forearmed, some things we are meant to experience. We have asked to experience them. We came to experience them. Always with, uh, with inner growth in mind. It may not always seem that way in the beginning. But if we look for those lessons or the treasure in the situation, it makes everything a little bit easier. And we really come away with some important lessons. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords and the Justice card. We want to be careful here because the Justice card is karma, right? Um, what we give is what we receive with the Justice card. Everything remains in balance. This can be a legal situation for some people, but it is like sort of balancing out the situation which we have with increase reversed here it is the end of difficult mental situations but your perspective is really important um, is this the dawn of a new day or is it the end of a very difficult day and we do have the nine of swords here at the outcome or probable outcome so we have to be quite careful here in the way we view the situation now, for some people, um, a legal matter may have ended, and it may have been a very difficult legal matter. It may uh, The Justice card always says that it comes out fairly. Um, 
if it was financial, may not have been a great financial win for you with the Four of Pentacles. This is the card of holding on. It's the miser card. But it is also the, the moon, I'm uh, sorry, the sun in Capricorn. And that is a very much an empowerment card. And so four is about foundation and, and solidifying something, giving it good foundation. And the four of pentacles here can mean that you're holding on to something. Remember, with that increase card, holding on to something, forgo, to forego something in order to fortify uh, something else that we are considering. So we're balancing the situation out. We're not going to buy that big fancy car right now um, because, you know, we want to buy a big fancy house later, something like that. Um, but we're kind of tired of trying here. This can be the, the uh, re increase reversed. Um, however, it is the end of difficult mental situations. But again, perspective is really important here. So why are we holding on to something, right? Is it to fortify or is it out of fear? Now, you may have given a no response here with the Hierophant. And you do have these two major arcana. So this can be big organizations. It can be schools, right? It can be um, religion. Uh, it can be the DMV. It can be the universities, it can be tradition and marriage, um, but it is my no card. Now, chances are there may be somebody who needs to ask permission, and you may give a no answer, so that may be the uh, increase reversed, right? No, we can't uh, go to Disneyland because um, you have a lot of... Uh, need new clothes for school, for example. Um, so you may be giving a no. This is permission, right? The, the, the two gentlemen are asking for information. They're asking for permission to know more. But with the Hierophant, which is associated with Taurus, says you can't know everything. Uh, first you have to be initiated. First you have to go through these trials and tribulations, and then you can figure it out. Or you have to read these books. Or you have to fill out these forms. Uh, and then maybe you'll get some information. We'll see then that kind of an energy. And you're being the queen of pentacles here. So you're being quite practical in this situation. So maybe somebody's asking for something a little less practical. Uh, like I said, uh, they want something new. But in reality, we have to uh, save that money for something a little more practical. The queen of pentacles. They're looking for stability. And again, the four of pentacles is creating good, solid foundations, um, so keeping things stable, right? Queen of Pentacles is looking for stability, and so you as well can be uh, giving a no answer in order to create some stability. Mm. Well, that's interesting because you have the money <laughs> with the nine of pentacles, but you're not going to let go of it, right? There is something that we're saving it for, maybe harder times in the future. Um, but the nine of pentacles is the card of a strong, independent person who through their own hard work created a, a luxurious life for themselves. Um, it is independence. Um, it's Venus in Virgo, so we are really, really looking at the practical things in life uh, here, especially with Virgo. Um, because it is Venus, uh, in regards to relationships, this is somebody who can do the practical things. You're not looking for the big uh, show of, uh, you know, dozens of flowers being sent to you every day. You're looking for the person who can help you do the dishes, right? Or take out the, la the the garbage or do some laundry with you, you know, help you to do the practical things in life. And that's where you find um, a good partnership. But it can be inheritance as well. So it's very possible that you are receiving inheritance or um, 
you're saving for inheritance. I want to save this for my children in the future uh, so that they ha can go to college, so that they can, um, you know, start out in life a little bit better or whatever. Uh, you have the, as a probable outcome, the Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. There is something that we are worried about here where work is concerned or finances. The Eight of the Eight is a is is a, a powerful card. It is in um, it is power, the frequency of eight. So you can be removing distractions, getting a lot of work done. And this is working towards a legacy, right? We're working towards a legacy here. Um, Eight of Pentacles is removing distraction, getting the job done. It can be late nights. It can be overtime. Uh, but it's work you're usually very good at. So uh, you're busy with it. It's building a healthy body as well as a healthy wallet. So you can't even be physically fit. Now, I find this interesting because you have the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is mental worry, um, uh, over-worry, overthinking something. We're letting a thought get away from us, and it, and it creates its own story. And it may or may not be true, but we're just thinking about it constantly. And the funny thing is about this card is it says, go do something physical uh, to get out of your head. <clears throat> and that may be something that you're doing because that eight of pentacles is a very physical uh, um, work that we're doing right it's it's something that we we're definitely working at um, <laughs> like I said it can be building a, a healthy um, body but with the increase I think there may be a fear of of decrease and so we are working very hard to stabilize uh, finance, finances or um, something of the material world. But again, also could be health. And we're doing this uh, to get a leg up over the competition with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands are allies, um, but this can come also in the form of um, overtime, um, uh, workshops, help books, right? Self-help books, um, that kind of thing. It's anything that gets us a leg up over the competition. So for some people, um, maybe there is um, a situation at work happening where they may be um, laying off people. And so you're working extra hard, making it known that you want to stay in your position, you want to keep your position, and uh, and showing them what you've got, right? That is a scenario for somebody because I do see organizations here as well. <clears throat> Perhaps you are um, the head of an organization or manager and you want to make sure that your team or something like that um, stays in the company, that kind of energy. Uh, because there is worry involved with it. And this feels to me like um, we're trying to hold on to something. So a position, um, a wage, that kind of thing. Because of the justice card. Right? The higher-ups are saying, okay, we've got a, a downsize or something like that. What does spirit want you to know? And that's just a, a, um, an example for somebody out there. I don't think everybody's going to go through that. But there can be somebody who's watching that is dealing with that situation. Um, okay, what does Spirit want you to know? You have Archangel Michael used the sort of truth to help the world. So I think in this case, your truth uh, can help the situation. Be honest and truthful. Okay, thank you for listening. I wish you the best of luck. I think it'll work out okay. You do have allies with you. You do have, um, this is a nice card to have in your court here. Um, I will return in two weeks with a full moon reading. Uh, until then, take good care and talk to you soon. Bye for now.